Yeah, man. Somebody. I mean, it's cool that they did this, but I don't. I would have never parted with any of them. Me, myself, personally. Like, we can make copies of my album covers. Yeah. And then you can stick them on your wall or whatever. But. Um, yeah, that's a good point. You cannot touch that. Okay. So what's up? This is Alicia B. This is not Alicia B. Right here that we're looking at. No. This is MC Pigpen. But I'm Alicia B. Talking. Alicia B. What's up? <laughs> of Subterranean Stethoscope. In case you didn't know, watch my show on Wednesdays from three to five, and Mondays from seven to eight. And okay. I'll, I don't even know when I'm on in other places. Why don't you just email me at subterranestethoscope at gmail.com and I'll let you know when I'm on, where I'm on. Because that's my job, right? That's what's up. <laughs> With me, I have MC Pigpen. What up, everybody? Tell me a little bit about your MC Steeds. Well, I mean, I get what, like my style or just every, just about me in general? Do about you in general and then your style. Okay. So I'm Pigpen. Originally from here, Denver, Colorado, but I'm a transplant. I've been gone for a long time, uh, Tampa Bay, Hawaii, Virgin Islands since then. And then for the past two years, I've just been touring all over the country. So, you know, originally from here in Denver, but uh, I don't live here now currently, but I love it here. So Denver, what's up? Peace to all my Denver fam. And um, I've been doing hip hop, you know, 10 years ish. I've been recording for about five and then I've been on tour. Well, I quit my job and started doing it like professionally two and a half years ago, so almost three years really. Nice. And um, yeah, my style, you know, I don't know. I've gone through a little bit of it all. There was like a phase where I just like hated everything emo, so all I did was like hardcore, like fucking punchline shit. But, you know, <laughs> and then there was my phases where I was like, hated the punchline shit so I got all emo with it and you know <laughs> the, no, I'm just kidding but you know over the years of doing it for so long it's just like finally just found my own style my own niche my own shit to talk about and I just play you know I play over beats that like I feel you know I have to go through like hundreds of them to get the ones that I really feel and I don't even know how to explain the style it's funny because beat makers will always hit me up and be like well, what style of beat do you want? And I'm like, dude, that's like the, I just don't, I can't even answer that because like every time I tell somebody a specific style, it never comes out the way I want it. You know what I mean? So I'm always just like, just give me a bunch of beats and I'll pull the one I like. You know what I mean? <laughs> so again, I've had my phases with everything, but you know, now I just, now I would say I just rhyme more like realistically from the heart. I tell more stories, but using more metaphors. So it's like, Usually more real shit about my life, but, you know, hidden behind some metaphors and, you know, clever ways of putting things as opposed to just telling stories like, I was here, I was there, you know what I mean? So, That's dope. But. Who are your major influences when it comes to, when it comes to your art and your craft? I mean, again, and like back in the day, I mean, like Red Man and Wu Tang. I mean, specifically Red Man was like the reason I wanted to rap. I knew like every Red Man album from front to back, and like I just love Red Man. Favorite, you know, Wu Tang, like a lot of East Coast stuff, but even a lot of, you know, I grew up.